It was Miguel assigned duty to be up early in the morning and be on his way to Baker's to buy rolls and pastel for the breakfast table. He was diligent and this task had become a part of his daily routine. Tita, I'll go buy pandesal now. Sure, just hurry up. On his way, he thought of the bread, the salt, the panza, and wondered how it is made, what gave it its flavor and shape. He was bored with it, but there was one thing that made it worthwhile. The sight of the old Spanish house where Ida, the girl of his dreams, lived. He abused himself and fantasized about Ida and dreamed of being a man worthy of her affection. He was a good kid, suffering from the second first chair, and before long he was invited to the pizza's private and men values orchestra. All of this was a step reach his goal, buying our brooch and beautiful stationery for his art and love letters to Ida. Tita! Tita! I have good news! We were invited to show our talent in a private band. Do you think this is a good news to me? You're at practicing again? No, you don't understand. This is my passion. Being a musician is everything to me. This can help me be a man worthy enough for Ida. Nonsense! Musicians are like dogs, scraping for leftovers because they are last to eat. If you keep this up, it will never be good enough for Ida. No! No! What did you do? I beat you. Is this really the right path for me? Maybe I'm just right. Maybe I should think about this more. Will either really see my efforts in becoming a man 
that is worthy for her. No! This is the path for me. Ida will definitely see it. I'll prove to everyone that I am worthy. Boy, Miguel, step 